Yep. What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Now, like I told you guys in my last video today, I am on a cruise right now, but I tried to carve out a little bit of time for you guys just to let you know who's on the cover as well as the official Legend Edition cover for Dwayne Wade's run in NBA 2K20. Now, check this out. We're going to hop into the cover. We're going to break it down for sure. I want to make sure that you guys subscribe, turn on noties. There's going to be a lot of NBA 2K20 news coming out on this channel until the day of release. I'm going to make sure that I keep these bangers dropping for y'all. And I'm going to make sure that I keep the information as accurate as possible. And also, are you guys ready to break down this cover? I don't think y'all really ready because this cover is some fire. But we're about to break it down and make sure that you guys definitely drop a like on this video. 3,000 likes. You already know how we do, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything comes in threes. But let's go ahead and hop into the breakdown of this cover. Let's get it. All right, guys. Now that we are looking at the official Legend Edition cover for NBA 2K20, one thing that I do notice is that they spaced out the way that this cover looks. They don't have it traditionally looking like the NBA logo, then NBA, then 2K, and then 20. They flipped the whole script on this. They've shortened the logo to just the NBA logo and then 2K20, as well as leaving a little bit of space there to, you know, actually let you look and see what the cover is revealing. Now, if you guys notice, up at right under the 20, they have the legacy blimp, but the E is actually a three. And of course, that's for Dwayne Wade. Now, they do have the next, which is, it says his son's name on the sand if you guys can see that that's really dope as well like i don't know if like this is shining a light on more of a high school or more of a like a a, a, a hoop circuit type of like a like a ball is life type vibe like we're like in my last video if you guys haven't watched it for the ad cover i told you guys that this was like a storyline of a player coming from the streets and through certain circuits and then what was next in that player's career after cutting nets and all that like you, you're gonna have to go watch that video in order to understand everything that i'm about to say to you guys so the way that i feel i feel that this is definitely something where it definitely has that miami vibe not only is he wearing that miami vibe colorway jersey it's just it, it makes people think that sunset beach <laughs> Oh my God, it's so insane. But it's making people think that affiliations are coming back. Now, if you guys look at the other cover for the Anthony Davis cover, it has the train behind them. It has the stars on the wall. You know, just a whole bunch of, ooh, maybe, ooh, maybe. And then we come and look at the Dwayne Wade Legend Edition cover. And he has mad palm trees. Now, of course, that is the Miami vibe. You know what I mean? But that's also the sunset beach vibe you know what i mean so a lot of people will get things misconstrued now um i talked about this in my other uh breakdown of the cover i said that the my career storyline will have a lot of dramatic scenes in it because it's e for everyone but it has mild language now mild language only comes from the storyline I don't think that the casters or anything like that are going to have language inside of their casting or when they have the special edition people come on like Kevin Garnett or Kobe Bryant and sitting in on games and hosting and stuff like that. I don't think any of that is going to have crazy language. I think that this is, this is totally going to be the storyline from my career. Now, another thing that you guys might see, you see his championships under the, the, the first set of palm trees on the left. Of course, this is his legacy. You know what I mean? Like, Dwayne Wade has been through a lot in his career. You know what I mean? Not only did he get injured, come back, he won chips. You know what I mean? He had one of the greatest players on his of all time on his team. Well, I'm sorry. Let's make two of the greatest because I don't want to always single out LeBron. Like, LeBron is LeBron. We know that. But he also had my man Shaq. And some people would even say he carried Shaq to that ring. But I will say that both of them did it. You know, it's, you know. but Dwayne Wade was kind of snapping, though. You know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. Um, also, another thing that you guys might notice is that there are fireworks going off. This is like this is like the last hurrah to Dwayne Wade. Like, this, is, this cover right here is literally one of the greatest things that 
I've seen anyone do for Dwayne Wade. Not only was his last season a great run, like his his farewell season tour, that was something that um even Jimmy Butler had to uh, post on social media about about that the admiration that he had for Miami for doing this for Dwayne Wade. You know, a lot of teams they could have they could have you know what I'm saying didn't take didn't take one of their greatest players ever you know on this run and, and let him retire and stuff like that. They they could have just you know said nah. But I believe that Dwayne Wade's number is going to be retired. He's going to get Hall of Fame accolades. He's going to go down as one of the greatest shooting guards of all time. And I feel like this cover really does him justice. Now, there's one thing that you guys might see right near his arm sleeve and right behind the E for everyone. There's a little lit symbol there. Now, a couple of us have speculated that that may be a thunderbolt or something like that but i truly don't know unless i see it without the e for everyone now i'm gonna be scouring the internet and see if anyone else has gotten this cover and see if anyone has the uh, e for everyone thing taken off and hopefully they do so i can figure out what that is but um you already can tell that that is the miami skyline from what i understand like i'm, I'm used to i'm used to like some type of like vibe where it's like you know what i mean different color it's just it's so immersive with the way this colorway is bro like the way they got the sky looking and stuff like that and then the way and way you see how you looking he's looking off to the side he ain't even looking at nobody it's, this cover is kind of lit man but this is the part of the video where i want to start hearing what you guys have to say about this cover this is where we start getting mad active in the comments where we start speculating um, we start doing all this crazy stuff in the comments. Now, in my last video, I said so much speculative stuff. Like, I was even talking about affiliations could have been back. You know what I'm saying? But this is the time, this is the moment where we should get off things off our chest. You know what I mean? Like me, I feel like this cover definitely did a lot of justice for Dwayne Wade. Um, I'm even looking at it right now. Like, this, this cover is crazy. I already know I'm going to get the Legends Edition. And because the cover is fire, the cover is crazy. Like I wouldn't be mad to have a poster like this just hanging up. Even though I'm not a Heat fan, Mad Sixers fan right here, I would get this as a poster just because, because it's fire. But like I said, man, time to start getting active in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about both of these covers. Anthony Davis cover. You guys can go comment on that video. You guys can comment down below about this Miami Dwayne Wade Heat type cover. You know what I'm saying Legend Edition cover you know what i'm saying let me know what you guys think and also uh i want to say a couple things before i get up out of here news will be dropping a lot until nba 2k20 drops so what i want you guys to do is i want to make sure that you guys subscribe turn on noties um we are aiming for around three thousand likes mm, three of them things three three k but um also if you guys want merch um, the Abba King Carter merch as far as like he shot that merch your bruh uh, my face my IKC symbol all kinds of merch like that make sure you guys head over to www.ipodkingcarter.com and also when you do get the merch tag me on Twitter Instagram Facebook wherever you guys live at I'm on all platforms at Ipod King Carter and I want to make sure that I let you guys know that I appreciate all the support and I will be dropping these news videos as they come Every time I hear news, I'll step in front of the camera for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Watch this whole video without subscribing.